Hi team, Anna here, makeup creator, teacher, and educator, specifically for people with good eyes, 30 plus people, people with textured and oily skin. We do a lot of fun things here on this channel. And today I have a super fun launch and a super fun look in mind. We're getting ready for fall. We're getting ready for the holiday season. And I have in my hands the newest Too Faced launch, the Appley in Love eyeshadow palette. So we're going to be reviewing this bad boy and creating a fall soft cat eye look that is so 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 in right now and the look that I'm going to be wearing all fall long and I know that it's going to suit so many different people. I'm so pumped for this. Like and subscribe and do all of those things that help out my channel and let's get right into it. All right so here we got the box the palette comes in. Again this is a Too Faced Appley in Love eyeshadow palette. Take a look at the color right here on the back side of the box. It is a limited edition eyeshadow palette which is going to retail for 54 US dollars. You can get it at the website Ulta, Sephora, Nordstrom, I think other places as well. But this is my first ever Too Faced like holiday launch palette. So the chocolate one, the cinnamon one, the pumpkin spice one all kind of moved past me because I wasn't in a habit of purchasing them. I do own another Too Faced palette. The only palette by them that I do own is the Natural Nudes palette, which is a perfect bridal palette, if you ask me. Amazing quality, love their brand, love their eyeshadows. Cannot wait to play with this guy because, I mean, come on. Holiday in a palette. It's giving Christmas, it's giving fall, it's giving everything all at once, and I am here for it. This juicy palette is packed with 18 super sweet shades inspired by the fresh colors of real apples. Must have neutrals and pops of red, green, warm caramel, and a variety of finishes let you create and recreate every seasonal trend wink wink <laughs> with a creamy blendable formula that smells like caramel apples amazing so this is what these palettes are kind of known for like the cinnamon one was smelling like cinnamon the original was chocolate i believe that was so viral back in like 2017 smelled like chocolate this one indeed does smell like sweet apples like sweet caramel apples i just love the color story to me this is enough neutrals and enough colors to make me happy i can create a green look with it i can create a burgundy look i can create a pink look a mustardy look a neutral look a shimmery look a matte look I think that this palette is so versatile and I absolutely adore that about it. However, we do need to look at the swatches and to see what it's going to look like, obviously, on the eyeballs. I'm thinking that today we're going to go for a, like I mentioned before, soft cat eye fall type of look. So I want to use some of the neutrals from this palette and just create that really viral, gorgeous, sultry look using maybe some eye tape and show you how it looks like on a hooded eye and how to achieve that look on a hooded eye as well. So basically this video is going to be a review plus a little eyeshadow tutorial. I love that for me. I love that for me. All right, let's get into swatches. Any other info you need from here? Not sure. Um, Let's see. This was made in the USA, assembled in Dominican Republic, which is pretty common. And then the shelf life is a year, 12 months. Okay, not too bad. Let's go ahead. I'm going to do, I guess, row by row. All right, first four shades are looking gorgeous. This is nothing like my favorite favorite luxury eyeshadow formulas, but it's not something I expect from Too Faced. I am not going to expect Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona formulas. I know what I get here. It is a generic, really good generic, high quality brand. So this is what I'm looking for here, right? So we're going to go for the shade Sweet on You. Actually, perfect. I love when people, brands, include a shade like this in a palette because I can use it under my brow to highlight or in the inner corner as a highlighter. That is my favorite thing to do, a light, light, light matte inner corner. So this is exactly what I'm going to use it for. Then we got the shade Sparkling Cider, which, oh, the star of the show, if you ask me. Gorgeous, so sparkling, so reflective, really beautiful. In the pan, it looks like it's going to be the most reflective shadow in the palette, so if nothing else excites me as much, <laughs> that's on you, Too Faced, but I love this. Then we got Core Values. Adore, adore shades like this. Reds and burgundies look amazing on deep brown eyes like mine, so I'm like all about those colors. Let me know if we want like a smoky burgundy tutorial with this palette because I was planning on doing that but then I decided to go with a cat eye look so let me know if we want both then we got Apley in Love so the shade that the palette is named after beautiful decent kind of like a satin red I think that would look amazing all over the lid as a smoky eye so far these shades look really nice two more shades in this first row we got the Pick Me, which is a green shimmer shade, also more on the satin side, but pretty pigmented and vibrant. We got Applesauce, which is a really beautiful chocolatey matte brown shade. 
shade love shades like this starting on row two we got the shimmer shade smitten which actually looks really gorgeous a little bit less reflective than that first sparkling cider shade not the first one but the second one but still really pretty and then we got the shade sweetie pie which looks really exciting because i think it's kind of dual chromey yeah it definitely is giving like really really strong gold shift in real life here and i actually love shades like this i think that you could create a really beautiful kind of like mauvey toned pinky shimmery look with this palette i'm living for this let's get the next four shades Ooh, getting spicy i love this the shade bite me is going to be like a satiny pink shade so like a more subdued version of this one then we got the shade caramel apple which is going to be kind of like a warm tone transition matte shade we're gonna get apple of my eye another golden shimmer a little bit less reflective than that second shade as well and then the shade candy apple which arguably would be one of my favorite mattes in this palette because it's that deep berry toned burgundy shade actually loving it so far this looks so inspiring to me this is making me think about the holiday season and it's the best time of the year in my opinion i am such a big fan of fall like the day my local coffee shop got their new pumpkin spice latte i ran i i don't care that it's like 30 celsius degrees i'm i'm operating celsius sorry i will never be a fahrenheit girly but it's super super hot it's like i guess 90 is in fahrenheit anyways i ran and i grabbed the coffee and i enjoyed it i absolutely absolutely love anything fall related and this is making me so happy last row here reminds me of thanksgiving looks so 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 beautiful we're gonna get into the shade crunch time which is going to be a deeper kind of richer gold shimmer we got the shade turnover a mustardy yellow also quite rich i love this shade we got the shade so snackable another ooh, a deeper burgundy tone actually prefer this over the other one and then we got the slice slice baby which is actually a super reflective green topper Ooh, love that shade love that shade we got only two more shadows we got two matte shades and i'm just going to go ahead and swatch them right here we got the orchard stroll a really beautiful swatch if you ask me not like on my arm i don't do swatches very well but the shade itself swatches are really rich and beautiful and then baskets full oh wow that is deep i love that that means that we can create a really good decent smoky eye with this palette but we could also go lighter if we wanted to so take a look right here at all of the swatches if i can do this <laughs> it's not really pretty but the palette is large okay we got 18 whole shades i think it looks amazing i think it's lovely i think the swatches are really really good i think everything swatched really well besides a couple of mattes but that's because they're more like pressed pigments rather than eyeshadows like if there's more pigment to a matte shade like say that burgundy shade it would swatch less creamy if that makes sense but at the same time loved everything let's get into the application so first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply some eyeshadow primer because our eyes are hooded and without eyeshadow primer everything is going to disappear throughout the day the shimmers are going to get creasing you know and everything is just not going to look as smooth so i always 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 recommend using an eyeshadow primer if you have hooded eyes now that we are going to use any shimmers i think we're going to go for a full matte look but in case you do use shimmers, highly, highly recommend always, always going for an eyeshadow primer if you have hooded eyes. This one by Urban Decay is a cult classic and one of my favorites for sure. All right, so we are going to use a little bit of an eye tape to create that sharp look. So this is just a tape from um, Amazon. So we're going to use this and just make sure to... Well, that's a little bit too much. Basically, just make sure to have it be not very sticky and not very like disturbing. That's why I advise to like buy a specific eye tape from Amazon or another store. I know that Elf Cosmetics used to do these, but now I think they don't anymore. But if you use a regular tape, just like stick it to the back of your hand a couple times to make sure that it's not going to be really disturbing on that sensitive area of your eye. And then follow the direction of your waterline, just kind of glue that on. I think this will work just fine. The hard part is to make sure that the other side looks kind of and goes the same way but we're gonna work with this grabbing a big fluffy brush and dipping into the shade caramel apple to create a beautiful kind of transition over here and i'm gonna start on the outer part here above my natural crease and kind of move it inwards into the nose contour and just layer a couple layers probably also kind of in the outer portion this is blending out quite smoothly and it's a beautiful beautiful shade a little bit more warm than i anticipated but it's still more on the cooler side than say the orchard stroll shade so 
I think this is going to work just beautiful. And I don't want it to be like too pigmented. So I think this will be where we stop and get into a deeper shade. So I'm going to get into the shade Applesauce, which is a deeper brown with the same brush. But I'm going to concentrate this lower than the first shade and only on the outer part. Ooh, that's quite pigmented. Was not expecting this. So I am just going to concentrate this here on the outer portion ever so slightly deepen up that crease actually love the blend love the blend it's been a while since i used Too Faced eyeshadows and wow absolutely killing it actually amazing the blended itself it looks so pretty as well i'm gonna get a more flat brush but still kind of fluffy to grab the shade sweet on you which is that first super super light matte shade that is going to go first on the lid then it's going to go under the brow right here to brighten and also in the very very inner corner this shade is the star of the show i adore shades like this i think that every palette should have a shade like this it's just so handy i always 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 use it i love the matte kind of look i think it looks so stunning and it's so flattering it just brightens everything and it looks really really good make sure that you kind of blend the edges here together with all of the previous brushes that you use to have that transition be kind of really really smooth okay so now the cat eye the eyeliner part the most important part of this look because let's be real anyone can get it to this point but the eyeliner part is the hard part so the most important thing is to grab yourself a really thin really small angle angle brush so this one is by bk beauty 208 let me check yes 208 and this one is one of my favorites my second favorite is sephora number 12 if i'm not mistaken really thin really angled beautiful beautiful brush we're gonna get into the deepest shade in the palette which is this one basket full and we're going to create a line along the lash line just stamping that on for that beautiful cat eye effect and then kind of going into this area of the tape because we cannot mess it up we got tape there so it's all beautiful and then kind of make it as thick as you'd like if you want to you can grab a really small pencil brush this one is by MOTD Cosmetics from my set with the brand it's called Hooded Eyes Anna's Picks Hooded Eye Brush Set I'm gonna leave it the link to it in the description below but you can kind of blend that eyeliner out to create a more smoky finish i absolutely love doing that and then it will be a little bit more smoky rather than really really sharp eyeliner look i kind of like the look of both to be honest with you so then i'm going to bring it along the lash line obviously really really carefully and then for that inner corner flick which creates that cat eye shape so i think that, that is a very very important part of the look and i honestly do it on a daily because i like the way it looks on me so i'm just going to prolong the kind of elongate the eye through here and continue the direction of my upper waterline and just really just go a little bit out here and then connect it to the lower lash line and you can again make it as long or as short as you'd like we're going full cat eye today so i'm gonna make it a little bit longer i really like the look of it you could also add a little bit on the outer portion here on the lower lash line just to add a little bit of that definition and then yeah just a little bit through here so that kind of adds to that elongated cat eye effect and i'm going to continue blending out and smoking out this liner here because that's what i kind of want from this look just adding a little bit more of that deeper shade and blending it upwards and i think that this will be the effect for today oh it looks so gorgeous love it love it love it love it you could obviously apply a shimmer shadow on the upper lid i think that would look gorgeous as well but i want to keep it matte today just because that's what i decided even though i really want to get into all of the shimmers but that's why i'm thinking that maybe i could do another look with this palette let me know if that would be something you're interested in but so far really really pretty okay let's do the most satisfying part and take this away look at that i love the sharp edge of it i love how beautiful it looks obviously if there's some discoloration or anything you can add a little bit more powder or any other makeup product but i just love the sharp line i think it creates a really really beautiful finish let's add some mascara and half lash i think that would look amazing here so for mascara i also grabbed the Too faced mascara because it's honestly one of the best mascaras ever so i'm just gonna go ahead and coat my lashes i think i'm gonna skip lower lashes maybe not maybe i will do a little bit i just usually skip the lower lashes because my eyes are super oily and like watery and i will end up with panda eyes at the end of the day if i do this like there's just no way around it but yeah look at that 
oh, this mascara is so good. I wore this on my wedding day and rightfully so. Very, very worth the hype. Okay, so actually, as I was doing my mascara, I made an executive decision to use a brown liner for the waterline, but not just any brown. This is by Laura Mercier. This pencil is in the shade Coco. Use my code Anastasia20. This is kind of a brown. Ooh, I still have a swatch here. A brown with a reddish undertone. An insane, insanely beautiful shade, especially if you have, well, actually it works amazing with blue, green, and brown eyes. I don't know how that happens, don't ask me. But this is my favorite brown eyeliner and I always, always use it. So I am going to go ahead and run this in my waterline just for that, a little bit more of a sultry look. I think that it elevates any look. And if I were wearing like the cat eye on a, like, in a daytime, this is what I would add for that nighttime effect. I think that would be like the one step that I would add for a date night look or something like that. I'm gonna do in the upper waterline as well, even though it's so unpleasant. But yeah, not too much, just a little bit to create that beautiful, beautiful finish. Yeah, I'm really happy with this actually. All right, in terms of a lash, I did have a lash somewhere. So this is by Velour, they're effortless lashes. This is the style strip, but I kind of cut it in half and I've been using these like mini half lashes four days now i literally need more of these these are so 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 good so i kind of have i kind of trim it halfway from the outer corner and this is what we got here so this will be like a little half lash that only goes on the outer portion so that's what we're going to do let me go ahead and find my glue okay the lash is on here's the final eye look over on this eye so we got the before here and the after here with the new Too faced apple ever after Apply, what is it called? Apply in love. Apply in love. Eyeshadow palette, actually in love with this look. I think it's so sultry. I think it's so flattering. I think it's so beautiful. Let me finish up the other eye and come back for the final result. All right, team, I changed up my lip combo and here is the final result. I think it looks so, so, so beautiful and it was quite easy to achieve. I think that anyone could pull this look off to be completely honest, but it's super, super flattering for people with hooded eyes because this outer part is smoked out. It's so beautiful. It's so gorgeous, perfect for fall. My final thoughts on this palette are that I love it. It's gorgeous. It's wonderful. Is it going to be a palette that I'm going to reach for like next year probably not but for the holiday season i definitely will might wear it on thanksgiving and christmas as well i had a lot of fun playing with this palette and it smells good the quality is amazing as well let me know if you're picking this up i'm gonna leave the links to everything i'm wearing and this palette down below if you shop through my links you really help out my channel so thank you so much for that let me know if you're picking up this palette let me know if you have a collection of these palettes and i know that a lot of people do like the chocolate the cinnamon all of those that we were talking about let me know if you have all of them because wow <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this look and I will see you in the next one. Bye!